Hello, my name is Devin Neal and I'm going to be teaching the Computer Programming in C course. So, real quick, this is a course that is geared directly to people who have little to no programming experience at all. Now, I know there are some people that are taking the course that already have plenty of experience, years of it already at this point, have already programmed in C and everything else, so for those people, I will try to make this as interesting as I possibly can. So it's not completely just a waste of time but for those of you who this is directed directly at which are those who have very little or absolutely no program experience this is going to be an introductory class to the c programming language now that is an interesting choice for a language for complete beginners in my opinion i don't think it's necessarily a bad one i just think it's a very interesting one so in current day and even along most departments and a lot of other things you have beginner languages such as a python or java or something like that because they handle a lot of things for beginner developers see well it does the opposite so you learn a lot but at the same time, you learn a lot, uh, and I'll explain what I mean in just a second. So, just for a little bit of context here, C is one of the oldest languages that's being currently used today. So, what I mean by that is there's a lot of older languages, but they're not being used today. C is quite a lot, actually. Now, one of your common examples of a program that you use as made in C would be your operating system, of your desktop, a laptop. If you're using Windows or Mac OS, or if you haven't been using Linux, then you are using something that was written in C. And there's a good reason for that because it is a very rock solid language, a very fast and efficient language, and a lot of that comes with its stability for over the 50 years it's been around. So it wasn't written 50 years ago and just left to exist. It's been updated continuously over the past half a century. I think the most recent update was, I don't know, I think, I think it was one this year. I think it's been recently updated to this year, so it's, it's still chugging along just fine. Now, it does have a lot of pros and cons, and I'll try to touch on those real quick. So one of the cons is its age really shows sometimes compared to say, those other beginner languages like Java or Python, and I'm not... That's not any disrespect on Java or Python for being a beginner language. It's just, it's a more modern-ish language in terms of some of its uh, features, feature comforts and stuff like that. C is a bit more archaic and along the tooth in that aspect. And you'll understand what I mean as we go through the semester. Some of the way it handles data, some of the way it handles memory management, stuff like that is still very very antiquated and i don't mean that bad it's a lot of work that the end developer has to do but by doing it yourself you have a lot of flexibility to control the system which is why it's still used today and why it's used in very low level systems because you have complete control and that's what gives it speed and efficiency essentially so it's have a double-edged sword yes you get complete control of the system but at the same time you have to have complete control of the system if you don't it's not doing anything with python and java specifically memory management is handled a lot for you but see mm, you have to do all that yourself and it won't be too bad and honestly since this is an introductory course you don't really get to a lot of the very specific things that can make c an absolute nightmare to work with sometimes now i do like c as a language it is generally one of my favorite languages to work with because of the control that you have with the system now can it get really annoying sometimes yes it can but that's kind of programming in general so since this is a lot of people's introduction to programming i do generally hope that you enjoy it i hope that it all makes sense and overall i hope that c's not too, too bad for a lot of people. It does tend to have a higher, steeper learning curve for a lot, a lot of people. 
and that's completely okay. If it feels like you're struggling with it, that's pretty natural, so don't beat yourself too much. It's just kind of the way it works. It's definitely not the most cumbersome language at all by, by a wide mile, but it's definitely not the easiest one either. I think it's a pretty good middle road, so hopefully it's not too bad. Overall, hope you do learn something from the course. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, I think that's all I got for this video. I have a few more planned to kind of go for the introduction of this class. I didn't want to do it all in one video, so I'll see you in those. I'll see you later. Bye.